Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new episode of Online Lessons. Today we are going to look at pseudocode. In today's lesson, we are going to see what is a variable, a constant, input and output in pseudocode. To begin with, we are going to see what is a pseudocode. Pseudocode is the use of English-like statements used to describe the solution of a problem. Pseudocode can also be expressed as the use of English-like statements used to describe what a program must do. In pseudocode, we make use of what is known as a variable. A variable is a symbolic name given to a data element whose value can change in a program. Examples of variable, num, a symbolic name used to store the value of a particular number, sum, a symbolic name used to store the value of the sum of a set of numbers, average, a symbolic name used to store the value of the average of a set of numbers. The second thing that we can make use of in pseudocode is constant. A constant is a symbolic name given to a data element whose value cannot change in a program. Example of a constant, pi, a symbolic name used to store the value of pi, which is around 3.142. But a symbolic name used to store the value of a value added tax, which is 0 0.15, that is 15%. Input. Input is a statement used to indicate that data is being sent to a program. An example, input num. This statement means that the value of a variable num is being sent to the program. Other variants of input can include read and scan. Output. Output is a statement used to indicate that data is being displayed from the program to the user. Example, output sum. This statement means that the value of the variable sum is being displayed from the program to the user. Other variants of output can include write and print. So that's all for today. If you have liked the video, please subscribe click on the thumbs up and leave a comment for how to improve the channel. Until then, see you guys next time.